Kim Mathers is the former wife of Detroit rapper Eminem. She avoided standing trial for driving under the influence by pleading no contest today. She crashed in Macomb Township last October, was arrested for drunk driving. Jason Colthorpe was there this morning as Mathers left the courtroom. And Jason, I think it's pretty clear she just wants to be done with this. Clearly, Devin, and from the moment her SUV was up against a light pole till now, it's been a little more than a year. and. The reason this is so interesting to everyone isn't simply because she's Kim Mathers, but also because as this investigation went on, it led police to believe this was a suicide attempt. And then as the case became into the courts, it was sealed. Cell phone video showed the aftermath of the crash a year ago October near 23 Mile and Card Roads in Macomb Township. Police and emergency personnel soon realized who was in the upside down SUV that crashed into a light pole just after noon that day. You know who it is? You know, Kim Mathers, is it? Yep, she's hammered. According to the police report, Kim Mathers told police she drank a fifth of Malibu rum that day and also crashed her car on purpose. As charges moved forward this past April, the court case was sealed, leading many to wonder, was she getting special treatment? But after Local 4 obtained the dash cam video, the case was reopened to the public, and today Mathers decided to plead no contest and simply move on. I wish to plead to the defense of property while visibly impaired due to the consumption of alcohol. Would that be no contest? No contest. Very well. Outside of court, Mathers, who was on crutches, and her attorney had very little to say. I just am really looking forward to getting this behind me. You know, I appreciate you guys being here and wasting your time for all of this, but just want to get it behind me and move on from here. Was uh, the accident intentional? Uh, I'm not, not going to comment about any of that right now. I'm just working on getting better and healthy. Okay. Thank you. Well, that's good to hear, especially if at the time it was her intention uh, to commit suicide by crashing that car. It certainly seems that Kim Mathers has turned a corner there. Now, her attorney did tell me off camera there were no terms to this plea. This was just her desire to get this over with, and she will be sentenced for it on November 22nd. We're reporting live tonight, Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4.